Authorities say the man accused of firing a paintball gun at demonstrators during a Trump rally last weekend escaped custody. Officers caught him again, this time in Northern California. 17 Moses Small has an update now on the case. Moses? Thank you, Tammy. Police in the city of Gridley found 35-year-old Aaron Anderson impersonating a police officer just days after he was arrested in Bakersfield for hitting two people with a paintball gun loaded with marbles. I thought it was a plot to a bad movie. A large group gathered at Emerald Cove Park in Bakersfield for a rally supporting President Donald Trump last Saturday. That's when witnesses say a man running a petition booth started acting aggressive. So we got there early in the morning and this gentleman was already there. He literally cussed me out. She took this video just moments later. I don't think you bought a thousand dollars worth of merchandise. Witnesses say 35-year-old Aaron Anderson pulled out a paintball gun that morning, but put it away. He probably would have attacked me physically if I probably would have instigated or cussed at him or, or whatever. Anderson harassed Hull again just hours later, drawing the weapon a second time. These young men came running when they seen the gun. Put it up in the air and, you know, with some expletives, told us that we better not come any closer. And at that point, he just opened fire and... You know, we just thought it was a paintball gun. Anderson firing something much more dangerous than paint. And when one of the uh, one of the projectiles hit me in the chest, I expected to see paint. I looked down at my feet and it was a glass marble. Demonstrators caught up to him and tackled him to the ground. Bakersfield police arrested him soon after. Anderson was charged with two counts of assault with a deadly weapon. Firing recklessly into the crowd. And if these, you know, if these had impacted a small child, you know, in the head or in the eye, then we'd have serious injuries. Bakersfield police took him to jail the next day, on Sunday. Then authorities brought him to Kern Medical when he complained of health concerns. Authorities later say he had stitches in his head. Anderson claims they're from the standoff at the demonstration. His hospital stay didn't last long. He broke out that night. Two days later, Gridley police officers in Northern California pulled Anderson over. He was driving a black SUV that looked like an unmarked police car. Police stopped him because there weren't any license plates on the vehicle. He told officers he was a special agent hunting a pedophile, but officers quickly found out that wasn't true. Instead, they found a small arsenal. Anderson had a club, machete, and a replica sawed-off shotgun with rubber bullets stashed in his car. Police found him with a state of Georgia driver's license and arrested him on the scene. There are good people on every side. He was not part of anything as far as Antifa, Black Lives Matter. He was not part of the Trump uh, people. He was just the crazy, crazy man that could have hurt a lot of people. Officers brought Anderson to Butte County Jail, where he faces multiple felony charges for unlawful weapon possession, as well as impersonating a police officer. Gridley police say his bail is set at one and a half million dollars. The Kern County District Attorney's Office may extradite him to Kern County once he's prosecuted in Butte County. In studio, Moses Small, 17 News.